think what we've got is a case of hubris on trial. It's a, a celebrity spectacle. It's crime and punishment. But punishment of what? It's similar to the OJ spectacle where you have helicopters following the white van. But it's different because obviously the gravity of the crime is significantly different. So in the case of Paris Hilton, you have a celebrity who loves the camera, who is very much a fashion icon, who always looks perfect. She has the same pose. She has everything very much choreographed and orchestrated for publicity. Now, when you think about it, does she seem repentant or anything? She whines and cries a lot, or she seems to, according to media representations of her. She's definitely the kind of the prototypical princess who seems to have the life of luxury. She's an heiress. She's everything. And she's also a little bit proud, or it appears to be. So the hubris, the arrogance, the, the unwillingness to feel the pain of anybody else, the, the narcissism, uh, the um, solipsism, the extreme, extreme self-absorbed appearance of uh, appearance of, of Paris Hilton, I think that we have a case of hubris. And the American people, I believe, are desperately longing for a case of having hubris punished. Why is that? Because I think we see that we have um, political figures who are proud and arrogant and willingly do not do what the people would, would like them to do. And they seem proud, and it leads to a fall. And we crave the fall. Now, I mean, who fits the bill? Paris Hilton. And she's kind of not doing anything to help herself, which probably makes the hubris even the more um, extreme and the public all the more gleeful. So there's my analysis. Paris arrested hubris on trial. <laughs>